Hello, and welcome to Schmitty's Guide to Shotgun DPS in Secret World Legends. This guide is targeted to players who will be using shotgun as their primary weapon, and will be going over a build and a short rotation with each other weapon in the secondary. However, since the heavy munitions specialty for the shotgun is really important, and how we deal with it is really important, there's a few nuances. We're actually going to be starting off with a shotgun-only build, just to show you the basics of what you're looking for to make this do the most for you. Uh, before that, however, the weapons that I think are good for shotgun are uh, far and away, I think the Spes C221 is the best. It's got... Uh, this 20% chance to cause your next attack to do additional damage, and it can stack up to six times. So if you burn a bunch of shells at once using reconstituting shells or shell salvage, you get a lot of chances, and they don't have a timer on them. So if the boss disappears right after you do that, you still gain that damage the second the boss reappears, no matter how long that is. So that's important. That makes it so the stars sort of aligned on this shotgun. It's really good. Uh, other honorable mentions, we'll start off with the uh, Ifrician... If I can spell... The Ifrician Despoiler, which uh, makes it so you get extra crit power after firing 12 shells. However, Dragon's Breath shells count for 2. Uh, this makes it so that as an offhand it's pretty solid, because you will only ever be using dra uh, Dragon's Breath rounds. And even as the main hand, it's still very solid, because you're going to swap back and forth between Dragon Breath rounds and Depleted Uranium, at least theoretically, when the game lets you. Uh, then we have the Redeemer. <laughs> there we go, need a few more. So the Redeemer is just a nice little buff weapon. Honestly, I'd prefer to see this on a tank rather than a DPS. But it does allow you to either heal or allow your group to do more damage. So it still has a place. It's kind of a neat little niche as a party buff weapon. And those are the weapons that I think are cool. And with that, we're going to sort of just get into how to deal with your heavy munitions mechanic. So we obviously have our shotgun only build. There's a lot of skills here. We're using two of them. We're using pump action, which is just your basic attack with shotgun. And we'll be using opening shot. And that's literally it. Uh, we're going to be running white phosphorus, extended loader, odds and evens, fire at will, and munitions expert. Uh, munitions expert and these extra skills are both just to make it more likely that we will be able to get the kind of shells we are looking for each time that we have to reload. So let's start off. Basically you always want to start off with Dragon Breath Rounds because they're really good. They will do a ton of damage over time and starting them up early is a great way to make that happen. And basically once you've run out of shells, which we're about to do, you're going to want to look to see. And we're going to swap back and forth. We want to swap back and forth between depleted uranium shells and dragon's breath shells and it looks like we get the chance to do that Ooh. oh okay i think if you push that button too fast that's interesting i think if you push that button too fast it'll actually double load your shotgun which is probably a bad thing but we learned something just from doing this and now we're going to switch back to depleted uranium and so on so you'll notice that each time that i get to where i have to reload uh, I'm actually, like, those shotgun skills are on cooldown here, yeah, see, so we have to wait for a second. But your secondary skills are not going to be on a cooldown, which means that uh, you will be able to use, say, a hammer attack in the background while you're looking at the shells so that you get to see what kind of shells you want. So basically you won't have to lose DPS for anything except for that one second of reload time, and it helps out. That's good. All right, and on top of that, we're actually not doing bad DPS. I mean, this generally does over 3,000 DPS just from doing our basic ability. So you should have learned a couple of things there. First, uh, just a little bit about how to deal with heavy munitions the correct way. Second, that we are about to do some crazy damage once we actually do some real builds. And third, that you can buff the party. This is specifically for people in E5. If you have somebody who's parsing you, and you check to see you're doing less than 3,000 DPS, you could literally be doing more than 3,000 DPS and buffing the party while pushing one button. So you're going to have to rethink your choices if, you, <laughs> if you're not doing that kind of damage, at least. And with that, let's get into those real builds, shall we? So our 
core for shotgun is going to be pump action, shell salvage, raging shot, and full salvo. It is important to note that with full salvo, you will have to have at least five shells left for it to work. So you are going to want to make it so that whenever you have full salvo up, <clears throat> you will also be able to use it. Because if you have four or less shells slotted, you will have to reload before so full salvo will become available to you. Then for our passives, we're going to use Salvage Expert. I like Point Blank Shot for melee weapons because you'll always be within three meters. But otherwise, I would switch this out with uh, White Phosphorus so that you're doing more damage with Dragon's Breath if you plan to be at a range. Then we're going to use Odds and Evens, which is going to increase the difficulty of heavy munitions a little bit more because when we have an even number, we're going to want to try to use power abilities. And when we have an odd number of shells left, we're going to want to try to use basic abilities. However, do not let this tunnel vision you. If you are about to lose energy, keeping in mind that you will get a lot of it from shell salvage, you want to make sure you are just spamming Raging Shot as much as possible so that when you use this, you don't burn energy. Because burning energy from cell Shell Salvage will hurt your DPS much more than accidentally missing an odds and evens once in a while. Then finally, Withering Salvo makes Full Salvo one of the highest damaging elites in the game. Makes it a really strong ability. Then for Blade, uh, pretty standard, we're running Swallow Cut and Spirit Blade with Measure Twice Cut Once, because when you have Blade as a secondary, this allows you to essentially guarantee that you will always have a Spirit Blade once you've get, gotten one started. Uh, unfortunately, we will not have one started here, but we'll be alright. So basically, we are going to, for the most part, be doing a Raging Shot, using a filler of some sort to make it so we don't burn energy on our secondary, and then immediately going into Full Salvo, and then we'll be using our secondary again so that we have time to see what we are going to get when all of our shotgun skills turn into uh, shells. So it's going to look like this. So we'll start with Raging Shot, our Blade, Full Salvo. We're going to use our Blade again but we see what we get. It's going to be more um, Dragon's Breath rounds. That's okay. And we just kind of want to keep going here. We can start burning a bunch of Blade energy so that we get that down. And here we're going to want to use one, and then go right into full salvo. See, we don't want to burn full salvo stuff if we don't have to. And we're not really getting lucky with our uh, depleted uranium. We were really not getting lucky with depleted uranium shells. So, that is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. And there's some... Um, so we're actually just going to use a blade for a second here to buy time for full salvo. And we'll call that a rotation. Alright, so it should be about a minute long, a little less. Should probably do one more full salvo for the rest of them, but right around a minute is what we're looking for. And uh, 4226 is alright. Uh, we're looking for about 10 times our item power, so 4500 ish is what we want normally. I'm gonna back off so that that disappears. Yeah. Alright, <clears throat> and basically anytime that you reslot your shotgun you will gain Dragon's Breath rounds, and that's pretty much what you want to start everything off with. But yeah, if we had had a Spirit Blade the entire time instead of having to build up to it, we would be doing right around the damage you want to be doing, and Blade's working pretty well as a secondary. It's an okay secondary. Next, we have one of the best secondaries in the game. Shotgun Hammer is absolutely nuts. Like, if we don't do more than 5,000 DPS in this minute-long rotation, I am starting over until I get one that is, because on average, you're doing well over 5k DPS. It's so good. So, same sort of deal, right? Raging Shot, Demolish, Seethe, Demolish, Full Salvo, that way we're not wasting energy if we can avoid it. Use the hammer to see what you get. Just sort of burn some energy real quick so that we can get immediately on to uh, attacking again. burn more energy because we don't want to get hammer all the way up to the top. Still not getting super lucky with the uh, depleted uranium shells which is disappointing but we'll get there. It's just sort of luck of the draw. Gotta burn some energy. There they are! And then try to use odds and evens when you get the chance here. We have a little nice chance to do odds and evens fairly smoothly so we're gonna take it. And we want to just get back to full salvo because it looks like it's up. 
and we'll call that a rotation. All right, so, yep, nicely over 5,000 DPS. Uh, you can pretty much average that or better, even in long fights. I have been averaging uh, somewhere around like 5,200, so right around where we are. Even in fights that are, you know, two and a half, three minutes long, you can keep that up. And so I would definitely suggest this as one of my top favorite best builds that you should be using. Next, we're going to use a uh, shotgun fist. And because we have the bladed gauntlets, we're actually going to be trying to run Frenzied Wrath here. It works all right. And then we'll be using Mangle. Since we're using Frenzied Wrath, we'll be using the second wind passive. But if you want to use Savagery here instead, since you're not getting enough Fury generation, you can put Maul here as the passive instead, the passive for Mangle. And basically, uh, we're going to get a lot of energy off of this because whenever we have this up, we're not using energy. We're getting a ton of energy back from this. And whenever we end this, we get four energy back. So we will be not using odds and evens as much here as we should be. It'll hurt us a little bit, but it's still a solid secondary. So Raging Shot, Mangle, get rid of some shotgun stuff with full salvo. There we go. This time we actually got some pretty nice uh, RNG with our depleted uranium. We're just going to go straight into it. Whenever you do this, go into Ravage. Just just Ravage five times and then go back to whatever you were doing before. And as you can see, yeah, we are going to have to like fight to make sure that we get back to uh, reasonable amounts of energy here. We're going to just try to find... And we are not going to succeed in finding uh, the shells that we want to use, which is unfortunate. We want uh, Dragon's Breath, because as you can see, that has gone all the way down. And that's going to hurt us a lot. Oh, that was supposed to be this. Oh, well. So, we're just going to... There we go. Get it, immediately blast a full salvo at him, and call it good. So this is still going to do great DPS, even with a little bit of mistakes, because it's still solid, right? Like, yeah, we're hoping for 4,500 DPS as an average. We are getting well above that, even with a couple of silly mistakes, so a really solid secondary. Uh, again, that might only be because of bladed gauntlets helping us out with the Fury Department, but I can't be sure. And if even if it is, just switch out for Savagery. Now we have Shotgun Blood. Blood doesn't play nice with others, unfortunately, and with Shotgun it is no exception. We're going to have troubles making anything work here. So... Um, again, we're using, uh, sorry, Maleficium, Desecrate, and the Defilement passive. I think I didn't do a lot of these. Whoops. Demolish with Seethe and the Outrage passive. These are pretty much the same as the other ones I've been doing, but I do apologize for not doing that. And, uh, so here we're just going to kind of ignore Blood for a little bit. We're just going to start off with Raging Shot straight into full salvo, and we'll use Maleficium just to give us extra time to see what we get here. And we're pretty much going to ignore it again so that we can get to Shell Salvage as quickly as we possibly can. And now we'll pay attention to it. So from here, just try not to waste energy, which is sort of tough to do sometimes with uh, blood, unfortunately. And just going to full salvo here for the extra damage. We're going to just immediately use Shell Salvage. You see how like clunky this is? We're at 15 energy. It's really hard for me to get rid of it. We're not using Desecrate at the right time. We're about to get full energy again on our shotgun and waste some more DPS. It's just... There are prettier ways to set up your, uh, <laughs> your secondary. I would not suggest this as one of them. So, we'll just keep going here. One more full salvo, we'll call it good. Again, Desecrate, and then some Maleficiums afterwards will help us out. We can barely even use this. Probably want to use a different gadget. Honestly. And full salvo will end us off here. Alright, so I think we did okay there, actually. All things told here. Yeah, it's alright. About what you would expect out of a regular weapon, but shotgun is not a regular weapon. Shotgun consistently goes well above the damage that you're expecting, so it's, blood is tough, and it's just there are better options. 
Um, next, we'll be doing Shotgun Chaos. <clears throat> I'm going to be running ooh, uh, Breakdown with Reality Fracture and the Rend Space Passive to go with it. This is nice because you can provide your party with a little bit of Exposed, and we're going to start off with that actually. So we're going to just immediately Reality Fracture and then Raging Shot Full Salvo. We use Breakdown to see what we can get in the uh, Shell Department. And then just immediately go for some different rounds each time as we go here. So we get a little chance to use uh, odds and evens nicely there, so we will take it. <laughs> and we jump cancelled there because I was about to use another shotgun shell, which would have been a mistake. That would have allowed me, uh, not allowed me to use uh, full salvo anymore, which would have been a huge mistake. So that was why I jumped there. We'll get our shells. And we're going to have to burn through them quickly to get to full salvo again. We're going to just use that to get ourselves right back up. And we're pretty much going to just call that a rotation. Alright, so you should be doing some decent damage with this build and applying exposed. Yeah, doing a little bit more damage. And we're also giving the whole party exposed there, helping out. So that's not a bad one. Especially if you're running tank stuff with the hammer or the chaos with your shotgun. It allows you to swap back and forth pretty easily. Next, we have perhaps my favorite, which is Ellie, uh, because you can use it from far away and it just does so much damage. We're going to be running Mjolnir and Crystallized Flame with the Crystallized Blaze passive. And basically, same sort of deal here. We will start with Crystallized Flame. Uh, again, if you want to stand further back, you can, and Ellie is a great way to do that. Just swap out uh, Point Blank Shot for White Phosphorus so that you will continue to have a passive that's helping you do damage. Uh, for the purposes of this guide, we're just going to keep it all the same. So, we're going to start with our Crystallized Flame. Raging Shot into Full Salvo. Use Mjolnir to see what we get. Just sort of burn some energy real quick so that we can hopefully... Ah, no dice on a uh, depleted uranium round, which is okay. We'll hopefully we'll get it next time. And we do! Just in time for full salvo, which is huge. And we're going to get only depleted uranium this time, so there's that. We actually wanted uh, Dragon Breath Shells, so it was nice that we got that there. And we're going to wait on it for a second so that we can get full salvo off on this. And I think that's it. Alright, we'll call that a rotation. And yeah. <laughs> so, uh, stop sort of paying attention there at the very end with the anima rounds. Uh, again, anytime that you unslot and reslot your shotgun, it always gives you Dragon Breath, which is what we want to start with. But yeah, look at that damage. Look at that damage. And that is full range damage. You can be at the furthest range uh, that shotgun allows you to be, which is mid-range, like 10 meters, I think. Right around here. And you will still get tons of damage, so you don't have to be super close with Hammer if you don't want to be. Super great build. Alright, now we are going to go with Shotgun Pistol. We'll be running Dual Shot, uh, Kill Blind, and its passive Focused Fire. <laughs> this gives us Exposed as well, and Debilitated, as well as a way to uh, either gain a matching set of chambers if we don't have them, or extend a matching set of chambers if we already do have them. Uh, because of the weapons I am running here specifically, the Sovtech Harmonizers, you can sort of get onto a run where you want to use your pistol for seven seconds in a row. Normally that's not going to be an issue, you're just going to want to do three, and that'll never really get in the way of your rotation. But the seven seconds in a row can sometimes get in the way. So we're just going to start off with uh, Kill Blind, and then Raging Shot Full Salvo, use Dual Shot to see what we get here. And just sort of making sure that we are not going to burn too much, if any, energy while using that. Should have used the dual shot right there while we were waiting to see what we were going to get from our uh, shells, but I did not, so that was a mistake. 
And now we are going to just burn most of this immediately for full salvo. And now we're trying to get odds and evens while not burning pestle energy. Should be reasonable to do. And we'll do one more full salvo after this. Do a full rotation here. Oh, getting high on pistol energy. Don't want that. Oh, we're going to use kill blind to increase the length of that a little longer. Yes, we are losing out on shotgun energy a tiny little bit. We are okay with that. And we'll call that a rotation. Alright, so that one was a little longer. Not too much longer. One more elite worth. And still, <clears throat> right, even with the longer rotation, 5,000 DPS, super good. Shotgun pistol is still very strong. Uh, and finally, we are going to have shotgun rifle. We're running burst fire and incendiary with slow burn. And... Uh, <clears throat> Rifle is not a great secondary weapon because incendiary grenade is just... The grenades are so good that you want them all the time and you can't really do that easily when rifle is your secondary. But we will use uh, our rifle here because it's still quite good. So we're basically going to be starting off just immediately with raging shot and full salvo. We're kind of going to ignore rifle to start with until we want to load a weapon. There we go, so we have to load it because the grenade can sort of mess us up as whether it happens or not, it can change what we have to do. And just to clean up the initial rotation where really your focus is to not run out of, or not waste energy, we tried to make sure that we can do that. All right, so just sort of burn what we got here, get full salvo out of the way. And we still didn't get anything. That's disappointing. I was really hoping we'd get depleted uranium there. Sort of play attention to odds and evens since we have the chance at the moment. We're gonna wanna burn through this real quick so that we can get to a full salvo. And we'll call that a rotation. And again, like. I say that rifle is a bad secondary because in comparison to say rifle shotgun, which I believe would do quite a bit better, it's uh, it's questionable, but it's still going to be one of our highest, yeah, very bursty, in fact just barely our best. But uh, keep in mind that because we are using the KSR, we are very front heavy on our damage for KSR or for rifle damage, and that damage would go down substantially over time as we continued because we get a bunch of grenades really early, and then after that we are not going to get very many at all, and it's going to significantly decrease our secondary's damage. So that will go down, probably not down to the level of, say, uh, the blood magic, which is just barely getting where we want to, like almost, almost better to just run <laughs> the press 1 and buff your party build than it is to run shotgun blood, whereas that is obviously not the case with rifle. But again, still, I, I would suggest rifle shotgun if you're going to go the, one of those two directions. And we still have pistol and rifle to go, speaking of. I hope to see you there. <laughs> 